Platoon Review from the United Kingdom. Today I'm reading the Action Fantasy Custom Made 12 inch Rebel Trooper from the Blockade Runner from Star Wars Episode 4. <laughs> so here we have the 12 inch version of the Rebel Trooper. It has been released before, but never ever in a vintage star box like this. This figure inside is basically the sideshow version of the Rebel Trooper. This box itself is from a company called Replicator Boxes and Inserts. They do fantastic custom made boxes for the Star Wars line. 12 inch figures, ships and vehicles. Really, really great. Really, really fantastic customer service. If we just turn it around there, you can actually see some detailing at the back of the box there for you. Um, obviously it's got a couple of great shots there with the Rebel Trooper there. Really, really great. And there's a great shot at the bottom there as well. The attention to detail on these boxes is superb. I mean, you know, absolutely fantastic. I love that shot there on the back of the box. Really, really great. Um, you know, it's very reminiscent of Star Wars, that is, when you see that uh, shot there. Some detail on the side, that's some detail on the side of the actual figure itself. Obviously, it's got its helmet there. And obviously, you've got some detail on the side of the box as well of that same shot. We all know that obviously the 12 inch line did not continue. I mean, they did release some in the 90s, um, obviously uh, in like closed boxes, completely different to these ones that were released in the 70s. Um, I mean, I just adore this packaging from the 70s, just hot us back to all those years. Um, with the um, vintage collection, it's a shame that Kenner or Haslab aren't going to release these in the future. I mean, you never know, they may do, it'd be absolutely fantastic. I mean, it's it's a bit of a cash cow for them if they release these, because I think they do really, really well. And regarding the uh, Star Wars 12 inch line, obviously they finished years and years ago in the 70s with IG-88 and Boba Fett. Um, but uh, some of those figures now, if you look back at them, they do look fantastic. The actual quality of those figures for a 70s item were really, really great, because you had Princess Leia with the hair, you know, it's just a lot of effort going into them. I remember actually seeing a um, Ben Kenobi, you know, we went to Blackpool for a holiday, um, obviously, as you do when you're a kid. I remember going to Woolworths at Blackpool, remember it now, and my mum and dad brought me Ben Kenobi figure. I remember seeing the shop now lined up, I wish I had a picture of that, lined up with basically all the 12 inch figures. You had things like C3PO, you had Han Solo, you had um, R2D2. I remember seeing them clear as day now, lined up on the shelf in Woolworths in Blackpool. Obviously some of the lines were like coming to an end and that's when they started to be sold off. And I remember actually seeing them towards the end of the run, seeing palatory versions of uh, Princess Leia. And it was basically something like, I can't remember who it was, from like three or four quid. Because I remember seeing like, still seeing 12 inch Star Wars figures, you know, in the shops you know, going back to 81, 82. I mean, it'd be fantastic if we can go back there in a shop to see that all again, because those mem memories just come flooding back to me now, you know, that time in Blackpool in the early 80s. So there we go, it's a quick rundown for you from the 12 inch, never released in custom made box, Rebel Trooper. If you stay tuned, you'll see a rundown of packaging and the figure itself. <laughs>